The most famous painting by Florentine artist Cristofano Allori, carried out between 1610 and 1612. became an instant success and was widely copied, due in part to the popularity of the legend of the biblical heroine Judith, which the artist interpreted autobiographically. The decapitated head of Holofernes is a self-portrait, while his lover Mazafira is portrayed in the beautiful face of the young woman. After the painter's death in 1621, the painting became part of the Medici collections and arrived at the Pitti Palace in 1666. The biblical account tells how Judith liberated the besieged city of Bethulia from the Assyrians of King Nebuchadnezzar. Her beauty enamored Holofernes, their general, who kept her with him at the banquet. Seeing him drunk, Judith cut off his head with her own sword, and then returned to the city. The Assyrians, finding their leader dead, were panicked and easily put to flight by the Jews. This work, by Christophan, acknowledges his influence from Caravaggio, through the teachings of Artemisia Gentileschi who in the same period in the service of the Medici family, painted two violent interpretations of Judith, for Cosimo II. The painter emphasizes the heroine's beauty, the candor of her skin tones, and the exquisite quality of her clothing. Contrasted against the horror of the decapitated head, she holds in her hand. Judith appears proud of her deed, and sure of her divine protection. The handmaid's gaze, turned toward the young woman's proud face, seems to reiterate the courage and propriety Judith's action. Her extraordinarily sumptuous attire, offers an explicit homage to the flourishing textile industry of Florence at the time. The dark background, in which a green curtain can be glimpsed, further enhances the figure of Judith, which is also enhanced by the vantage point, from the bottom up, that can further emphasize the character. The astrological lapidaries of the late Middle Ages and the Renaissance, agree in defining the ruby as a gemstone rich in powers, derived from its relationship to the planet Mars, and the star Sun. Because of its connection with the latter, it was acknowledged to have the property of strengthening vital energy, making the body unharmed, and energizing the wearer. The figurative theme of Judith and Holofernes, knew much fortune in Florence, thanks mainly to Donatello's bronze group, placed in Piazza della Signoria in 1494, now in the Sala dei Gili in Palazzo Vecchio, which became the manifesto of cunning, courage, and faith in God. Virtues necessary to gain freedom, against any oppressor. 